Welcome back into Seven Days to Die's Darkness Falls. We're into the morning of the fifth here. Um, sunrise just came up, and this is my setup at the moment. So let's go talk about what I've done. Um, the setting here, actually, let's go do a debug mode. Nope, debug mode. Over here, click on stability. Uh, if you click on stability, you can see all the way around here, all these buildings have colors to them. Green is something that is connected directly to bedrock. It has full stability on it. But if you put something out there that doesn't connect directly to bedrock, you can see it starts to turn different colors. What that's telling you is that these pieces here are relying on some other block for their stability. Okay. If we look in here at the frame, you'll see it has mass of five and a horizontal support of 40, which means if you divide that, it's eight. It means I could go out eight from here and it would still hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about ten more? And eight. Now you notice that the, the outline has turned purple. What that's saying is that if I put this on here, I will go over the amount of stability that is available to that block. Again, just make sure I don't get run over. Um, and so and all this would fall to the ground and break. Okay. I don't want it to fall to the ground and break. I would show it to you, but I'm, I'm a little shy on wood right now, so I don't want that to happen. So you really want to avoid deep red. You can see there's some deep red in there, there's some deep red over there. If you started putting anything on there, those would collapse underneath you and cause a whole bunch of a problem. So when you're building a base from scratch like this one, you want to make sure your stability is pretty solid. I've done this particular build so many times now, I already know that it's solid. I don't even have to take a look anymore. But I could take out any one of these legs in here and the stability would still be maintained. Uh, unless I like super overload everything above it, but I won't be doing that. In addition, what I can do is if you notice over here, there's a whole, there's a shift. There's green and then there's green. Hey, dude. You just told me that it has to have a direct connection down to the bottom, and that there's that looks clear, but it isn't. I have put cladding here. In fact, if you look, I can't I can't place a block over that spot right there because I mean it, this whole block is contained. If you have anything in the block, anything at all, so for example, if I do a little piece like this, this little block right there will count as a block for that entire square doesn't have to be directly connected. The block just needs to be occupied. Okay. And as long as it's occupied and the block has underneath it, let me go ahead and click this thing here. It has this vertical support. Yes. Then you'll be okay. Some things have vertical support. No. And if you put, try to put one, something on top of those, they just break. Uh, a very common thing that has vertical support. No. Uh, goo. Zombie goo doesn't have a vertical support. Hey, you. I, I would like you to transfer into goo for for an example. Also, these don't count as vertical support either. In fact, they don't even count as a block. We'll wait to see if he turns into, into goo. So what I'll end up doing is I'll be doing this. I'll be putting armor plat uh, cladding around the whole thing. So this will be a three by, or actually if I get in the center, it'll be a uh, five block green Thing going all the way up okay and that will just transfer all the stability through all right now that we talked about stability a little bit let's talk about design turn off the debug mode because i'm not playing a debug i'm playing survival so that's what the reasoning is for all of these legs is to make sure that even if one of these gets taken out i'm okay this is not going to be my horde base but it does need to be able to stand up to wandering hordes and things like that so that i have enough time to deal with it the next thing is this level here. And on this level, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in bars. We take the edge bar. I'm going to hit the R key. I'm going to go on advanced research. Our advanced rotation, which will allow me to come all the way around. Boom, like this. And now I can stand up here and I can shoot through this with my bow and arrow, with my guns, with whatever I want to do, except for, uh, say, like, I can't toss grenades through this or Molotov cocktails, so I want to be careful about some of that. I'm going to put this in here because I was using those to get around, but I can do these. There we go. That way I can come around the corners if I want to. Hi. 
All right, so that's what this floor is all about. It's just so I can be up here and I can shoot down and like there's a guy on the leg, I can try to take him out. There is my claim block right there in the center. And then if I come up, this will be where I'm going to do all of my living. I'm going to have my uh, my workbench, my forge, everything else up in here. This is this will be all the way around. Um, I'm just really shy on the wood right now, so I don't I don't have enough to make that happen. Let's go ahead and go back to a normal shape. That I prefer. Thank you. Just so I can have it. But yeah, I'll extend all the way out and come out here. This is four high clear, five high total. That allows me to put in here two workbenches, one on top of another. Hey, you. I don't like you. Leave my... Oh, man. Leave it alone. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I'm out. Ah! All right, I'm going to come down here and deal with him. I'd rather him not be messing around with my uh, my bottom seat, with my, my legs. Who goes first? Who's faster? You're faster? Get up, crew. Ah. Nice. All right. So that's what that's intended for. I'll put a roof on it all along there and then on the roof i can put things like uh the turrets that i might want to have i can also put turrets further down to keep uh to keep all the critters off especially things like you know um, flyers if they happen to come in that'll work for a what while are you looking for? doesn't work forever but it works for a while let's go ahead and grab the workbench i made last episode the forge and then let's get all the tools and stuff i'll take over these tools with me that's not a tool i want to take there. I'm just gonna grab some stuff I know that I might be in, I might be using over there. All right, I got the stuff that I want to bring over. Very heavy. Let's do a quick repair. Got my hammer in hand so I can see whatever got broken a bit. And I also have some cobblestone in my inventory, so let's do the first two floor, two levels here of this up to cobble, just so it can take more damage. If I'm not around watching it, oh, I'm all out of cobble. Damn it. That was quick. <laughs> Ain't that always the case. Oh, out of cobble again. Oh, out of cobble. All right. Let's go ahead and start putting down things. I'm going to get my uh, workbench in there. I'm going to put the lathe in there. Forge. Forge, 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 forge. I went over it multiple times. I know I did. There it is. Forge like right there. Let's see, I have a wrench and a hammer. Hammer, wrench. I have the tool die kit. I need to make an anvil. Throw a thing in here. Can I do an anvil now? Anvil? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and craft up an anvil so I can have that done. Then over here, what about a bicycle? Can I do a bicycle? I need leather. I didn't bring over the leather. What the hell is wrong with me? Wait, can I do a lockable? I can't. Pill case is going to take 28 seconds. Let's craft that while I'm gone, and we'll do a cabinet as well. We'll take a look at those here in a minute. So we're just setting up the base a little bit so I have a place, nice place to do crafting and to really start teching up. I don't want to do all that over here because if I do it in the, the base of uh, the trader, I have to I have to play games with where I put my claim block to be sure I can pick stuff back up again, you? and I don't want to do that. You cannot claim the block the trader is standing on or the, or her. So if you try to put a claim block down that includes one of them, it'll it'll be invalid. That's what I want. In fact, why don't I go ahead and grab this whole thing here for now? Uh, before I go back, let me just make sure I have bicycle. I do have enough for depth. Yeah, I can do the, I can do whole bicycle. Sweet. And that'll be my first vehicle. I'm close to be able to getting a dirt bike, but I need more iron for that. So we'll have to wait until we get the anvil up and running on the forge, and then we'll start doing iron. I also need to get a lot of trees, get wood. 
Head to tr have a trader the thing to head to. What do I have? do? I have another mission? Yes, I have a fetch. All right, let's look here and look at bicycle uh, chassis. It's about a minute, less than a minute, and then I'll have a bicycle. Yes, then I'll have a bicycle. Let's grab these two things. What are these? Lockables. So a lockable is a, a modded container that is quite large. What is this? Five. 10, 12 by 10, so 120 pieces can go in there. And basically what I'll put is I'll put in all the, get that back, I'll put in all my first aid stuff in there. I didn't bring most of that stuff over. I have a, uh, I have one of the player thing cabinets, which I will be putting down. Can I get a tool? I like to use these. No, I need the uh, the metal workbench. Can I do a metal workbench? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, that. So I'm gonna put this somewhere, like maybe there, and make a campfire. We'll put the campfire on top of that, and then we'll use this to store other things. What do I want to store here? I have a tools. Miscellaneous tools. Is that good? Sure. Uh, one of the things we can do here, let's take a look at scrap. Do I have more? Yeah, scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. I have a whole bunch of scrap iron stuff. Over here, you see this combine? If I take a scrap iron, and I put a similar scrap iron on it, it'll upgrade it another level. If I repair this, it'll be more, but I don't want to spend repair kits for that, because what's the point? Um, I only really need one of these. I can keep one in reserve if I wanted to, for purposes of uh, repair, because you can repair this stuff as well. So if I had a scrap, scrap iron, uh, iron club, I could repair that up, and at some point I might. All right, there we go. Let's do bicycle now. And how long is that going to be? Half a minute? Cool. All right. So I got stuff in that one. Shovels. Should we take a look at the shovel for a minute? Oh, there's a good shovel, too. Let's put that back. Sort this stuff so it's all the, like put all the stuff at the bottom. All right. I am going to keep my good shovel here. And I'm going to start upgrading this. And then we'll have to take a look at something. I'm going to show you. This only will go up to a max, I think, of 40 before the workbench is like, yeah, no, you can't go any further. So I'm going to stop right here for a minute. If you upgrade something with a mod in it, you see that little, that little thing there? I've got the mod of uh, the Gravedigger in it. And I put this in here to upgrade it. Only allows you to improve items to 40. It's complaining that it won't go up to 40. Okay, what if I do this? There we go. Uh, if it goes up, this is, uh, you're going to make me do this? Okay, fine. I'm going to repair that real quick. Because if you upgrade this where the number changes to a next upper, upper quality, all your mods in it will be destroyed. So be careful when you're doing combines, okay? You can, some people are like, but, but it works sometimes. Yeah, if it doesn't go up a number, it won't destroy the mod. If it does go up a mod number, it will destroy the mod. And why am I still sitting here waiting for my... Oh, there it is, right there. That's why I'm waiting. I didn't see it come in. So get it go up. Yep. See, it goes up a number, but look, no mod. So always be sure to take your mods out, unless you're really confident about when and when it will and will not upgrade. Take out your mods. Yeah, well then improve it to forty. What the hell? Okay. So we'll do that, and I'm gonna take this one. And this one, just to get this nice and topped off, because if it's fully re if it's fully repaired, when you do a you know we combine them, uh, the repair is more efficient. There we go. So I've got that taken care of. I'll put this away too, because that's kind of a tool. There we go. And do I have my bicycle? I do. I've got my bicycle. Bicycle. Oh man, I missed the whole thing. You. Now, bicycle is human powered. It'll work even on Horde Night. On Horde Night, everything that has power to it doesn't run. 
But you'll notice. Oh, what did I do? I broke a leg. Dang it. Eeky. Sprained my leg jumping down so far because I missed the intervening thing. Let's run over here. If you hold the key down for take a hit on your on your healing, as you can see that just it had just happened. Um, so I'm gonna walk. The interesting thing is, is no matter how much time you have on a sprained or broken leg, yellow is sprained, red is gonna be broken. Uh, can you I help can, you? yeah, thanks. You can still fix it and have the same duration of time for it to come back down. Hey, do you have? I, I don't know how many cash do I? No, I don't. But she's got splints if you want to buy them. I'm going to go up here and grab a splint up here. Your leg is sprained, it says. Yes, I am aware that my leg is sprained. Thank you so terribly much for telling me. Damn it. All right. Let me let me make one. I took everything out of the first aid kit. And as soon as that, there it is. Popped in. I saw it on the right bottom right corner. There we go. See, I've got 10 minutes now. And now if I run, it doesn't matter. I can run without having it impact my time for recovery. Same thing for a, a cast. A cast you need if you break your leg. A cast is much more involved in make, being made. Uh, you have to usually use a fire and get some cornmeal and stuff. And generally, I just buy the damn things. <laughs> but the uh, the uh, sprint is a whole lot better than the split. Because you can make it with just a couple of a couple of fibers, a couple of pieces of wood, and some cloth. And if you have to, you can always just shred up your. Ah, come on! Ah, I'm I'm too heavy, and I don't want to deal with it. Come on! Thank you. Sprained leg, and I'm heavy, so I can't jump worth a damn. Fine. All right, let's go ahead and put away all of our pieces here. All right, well, I'm all done moving everything over. We're moved in. I've got a little bit of water going. It won't last. Did I get my... No, I need more. Yeah, need a lot more wood. So we are at the point where I need wood, and now that I'm down one, I'm going to go over here and start chopping some trees down. Uh, we've got a decent fire axe, so it should go fairly quickly. And uh, let me see where I'm at, and then we're going to probably go do that one mission. We'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, we're up to 370 uh, wood. It's uh, it's something. Uh, let's see where I am with my points. I have two points to spend. There's a lot of places I could go with this. I could go into Grease Monkey to get some more stuff for like a motorcycle, maybe. Salvage operations, pick up more salvage. Uh, I could go into tool crafting or weapon crafting. Mm. For anything I've unlocked that I can't use, well, the electricity stuff is something I've unlocked I can't use, but it's fine. Pistol, a boat crafting, a double barrel shotgun crafting, so that's all gun crafting. Farming tips. I might need to get into the farming, but not just yet. Let's see, can I get another sexy source? No parkour. I could do another parkour. Might be worth it. That already go to archery to get a little bit more damage. Let's do that because I'm sneaking in and shooting stuff. Pummeling beat. Yeah, I can do another pummel. Let's do that so I can also start swinging some more without an uh, issue. All right, let's head over to my next mission, the retrieve supplies. So this is me running. Okay. And... Don't hit that. This is me riding. My riding and running skills speeds are roughly the same and in fact i don't have to push down on my sprint key to, to go any faster see look i'm going normal i hit the sprint key i don't i don't change so it doesn't make any difference if i try to sprint or not so i can actually save on my stamina to move about as fast as i go sprinting in addition this is unaffected by encumbrance so i can be way low down loaded down and uh, i won't be slowed down Let's get over to the, uh, the, the the rally point. Here we are outside the rally point. I think maybe sprinting is a little bit faster than uh, riding a bike. I haven't actually looked and see 
if there is a difference between the two as far as speed goes, I can probably look in the file and make sure of it. Grab this stuff, look in here, and I'll use this to store stuff. I'll use my ambulance here as a temporary storage. There's a light on my feet. Let's go ahead and activate. Be quiet a little bit. The floor is lava. Uh, interesting thing. If you sprint across stuff that's floor is lava stuff, you uh, won't have to worry about it breaking. Goodbye! <laughs> Alright, so I came through here. Notice now I can run back across and not have to go falling through. Just a little trick. I happen to know that floor was lava, so that's how I was able to deal with it. Let me grab some some chairs here. Let's see if we can make it quiet. Not looting anything just yet. Go down the back side. Being sneaky. Typically, if you're sneaky and coming to the back side like this, uh, things won't hear you. Except for the thing already activated, of course. Hey, you wake Oh, you did wake up somebody else. Hi. Go down. Thank you. Excellent. I don't didn't need to do that. I'm not too worried about her. What the? Oh, you little rat bastards! Oof. Spider. They are they are really rough on your ankles. Definitely ankle bikers. I have some things I'm going to want to loot here. I got some uh, cement, some co uh, some cobble. Can I get a headshot over here? No. Maybe. Maybe if I finesse it. Nah. There, you're out. Nobody in there? Okay. Made some noise. You gonna come back around, buddy? There she is. Nice. Okay. We'll grab this. So now I can loot this bottom floor without uh, worry. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh, let's see. The higher your quality, the better damage you do. So, for everything except for legendary, legendary weapons doesn't care about the quality. So, by increasing the quality of my shovel, I can do more damage to a block. It's certainly worth upgrading, continuing to upgrade as you can. Want to go over there yet? I want to get this. So cement is going to be used for concrete mix later. We'll be mixing stone, sand, and cement. You can make cement in the furnace if you want to. It just takes stone to do. Did that already? There is a thing here. Oops. Did I break that? Apparently I did. Bye, bad. Nothing good in there? Fine, be that way. Oh, wait, this looks... Yep, it is. Five. You look through here, you see a thing back there? 
Remember in Darkness Falls, you can move through a one by one by crouching. And I have a bunch of weapon parts there, which I probably won't be using anytime soon, but I have it. What is going on out there? I guess that might be a way in. All right, now I've also cleared out this floor, so let's go ahead and take out this. I'm just going to hoover my way through this. Remember, if I need to, I, I can always go outside and stick stuff in the ambulance. Uh, let's, I will, when I do that, we need to talk about points of interest and setting up a place to drop stuff because um, there is heartbreak in your future if we do not talk. But I want to grab all this stuff first. All right. Nothing in there. Oh, look. I just put up a guide for that. We'll talk about that too. Give me a bookcase. Whoop, hello. You. Made me weak. But hey, look. Forge ahead. Sweet. Cheesy pizza. I'll scrap that one because I know it, but I don't know that. So if you don't know it, if, you, if the book's closed, go ahead and scrap it. And we'll scrap this while I'm here. Thank you. You need to get a new mouse. One of my buttons is already shot. Do I need springs and... I don't think so. I could break down that bed if I wanted to for springs and for... Uh, Brain, brain, brain missing. Small pipes, short pipes. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. What did I get with that forge ahead? Two books. Big forge. Nice. I will take big forge. I am now tired too. Great. All right. Remember, I did a guide if you want to go look at it, but. Just imagine there's a sliver that you're looking for, a little pie-shaped sliver like there, right there, and then you're listening for that little clicky sound, that little metal clicky sound. And if it if you hear it, then you need to move a little bit more. If you don't hear it, you're all good. Thank you. A couple of things to sell. Okay, I can go back upstairs now. I will be going upstairs in a second, but I have to go unload. Is that a... I'm hungry too. Damn. Oh, that's what I probably should look for was to see if I could get a uh, another level of the food thing All right here. So what was I talking about? You notice in the upper right hand corner, it says talk to trader. Trade the supplies. It says it's well, it's yellow. Uh, actually, if I were still in the in the mission, uh, I'd have a check mark in there saying either green for stay within the POI or yellow, meaning I'm I'm outside of it. And I'm in danger of, of failing the quest. And if you move too far away, you will fail your quest and not be able to come back. So generally, it's a good idea. If you're going to be putting down some kind of a chest, some people put chests down. I'm putting this thing in here. It's a good idea to uh, have a place to drop stuff. However, if you go for too far out with that you and you try to reach it to put your stuff in there, you will fail your quest. So you will be sad. You will be a sad panda. In addition to that if you put uh, if you put like the chest in here and then you go act you go in there and search stuff out you activate the quest the activated quest will reload this poa everything poi everything i've done here will be redone okay it'll be reloaded reset so everything i've looted will be back to being looted lootable again everything that i destroyed it'll be undestroyed all the zombies here will be re reset and everything that you put in here will be removed. So if you put in a chest with a bunch of stuff in it, and then you reset your POI, all the stuff in your chest and the chest itself, history gone, you are another sad panda. So make sure that you don't do that. Best thing you can do is always put your chests that you're going to be using on the street. The street does have, doesn't reset. It doesn't ever reset unless you purposely try to do it with a chunk reset command, which, generally speaking, you shouldn't be doing. We're getting to the loot room here in a second. Get some more cobble. 
stay over in the corner here so I don't necessarily activate whatever's inside. Hello? He should be over here. He moved! Little armor. Alright. So we are done clearing this, this whole place. I didn't have to clear it. As soon as I grabbed the satchel, I could have made a run back for it, but I wanted to get my goodies. Give me all my gobs. Open up the mo power. You'll generally want to take a look at all those boxes first to see if it gives you the option to open it. Hmm. Not bad. All right. I got another forge ahead. I'm going to read that. That's the last one I need. With some switches. Stun baton. I already know shotgun turret, so I'll scrap it. It's worth some money. I guess I'll keep all this stuff right now since I'm heading back. I no longer need a sneakage. Come out. See if there's anything around outside. Be careful for uh, like birds and stuff. But I don't see no birds. There ain't no birds. Isn't there a lip over here? Yeah, there is. If you're not sure, you can always just drop down on things like that just to make sure you're solid all right here we go so now i'm like way overloaded and because of that the bike will absolutely be faster you see i can move much quicker and generally speaking i will move faster than zombies i will not move faster than birds any flying creature vulture or otherwise i say otherwise because you'll find out later uh, can keep up with you on a bike and also will keep up with you if you're on your motorcycle okay we're back at base let's go ahead and pick my, my vehicle back up I am a bit tired and I need to get a vitamin in me vitamins will take away that fatigue or I wait it seems like always when you're having fights fatigue all right now I'm going to come over here to this lockable and I'm going to talk about up here this is a sort so it sorts everything in your container. This says, if I click it once, it'll move anything that I have over here up until it's max stack. So, for example, if I have, if I had enough of these, we'll do this, just so we have it. That will stack this to 10, but it'll leave the rest of my inventory. If I click it twice, it'll put everything in there up to the stack and... If it needs to, it'll create another stack. Okay, so that's one of the ways you can come over here, double click. Okay, and then of course, don't forget your sword. You can sort over here too. I don't have any uh, any any good things to feed on, so whatever. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna double click, put away anything I might need, and then see I have some stuff that I haven't put in there yet. So I'm gonna put those in there so that the next time I double click, it'll take those as well. Okay, I'm gonna sort this stuff up. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Generally speaking, once you have all your stuff sorted, you can just look through all of your various pieces and just do double clicks on them to make sure you get them all in there. Then you can just do a review to see if there's something new that you've picked up that you might want to deal with. Uh, is that... That's black. I need that black. Thank you very much. I'm absolutely going to put that black die in here. You want to save your black die. In fact, you want to save a lot of your dies. Do I have... Yeah, I'll do that. Wandering Horde. Hear all the footsteps? Yep, there they are. A Wandering Horde doesn't know where you are. Um, a Horde does. The Horde will be told where you are. I wanted to go sell some stuff, but now I got all this crap going on. I'm going to keep... Oh, I want to keep all my weapon parts, too. I'm making noise... How am I doing now? Am I under my weight? Close to it. I'm high up enough. Look, they're all over there now. It's a pretty sizable group. Now they have eyes on. Hey! Who's hitting it? Who's hitting it? I am not appreciative of this. Oh, 
That was a good edit. We gotta take advantage of this while she's here. You're down. And you're down, sir. Oh, nope. Wow. This tourist is tough. Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna pull over a couple more here. Come here. Got him. They're all making a mess over there. This is all free experience, so I'm, I'm taking it, man. Take the experience when you can get it. Come here, you. Just keep an eye ear out for kind of a scream. Whoa! You, I didn't think you were that close. Apparently you are. Oh, he's upset with me. This is a small group. <laughs> and it's almost nighttime, so I kind of want to clean these guys out before it gets night. Because otherwise they'll run over here and cause me a whole bunch of headaches. If you're really in a bad way... Alright, cheese time. Skip if you don't want to hear it. If you're really in a bad way, you can go hide, exit the game, come back in. These guys are not saved between saves. Wandering hordes aren't placed so they don't get saved. Hey, somebody over there, come here. You're not dead yet? Okay. You. Yeah. Come here. And how about you? I'm going to hit a couple of you guys. Somebody's coming over here, goddammit. Wait for you to get a bit closer. Nice, thank you. I'll take this bag. Come on, lady. Nice. Give me some experience. Ooh, you're tough. You're normally very tough. Thug. History. Am I still fatigued? No, thank thankfully that got that got away. I got rested. <laughs> I rested in the middle of the combat. <laughs> Alright, can I move a little bit? Maybe I, I go back to double. Sweet. Oh, just in time! Pretty much just in time. What, what, what's going on here? Here we go. Did I get everybody? Y'all down now? Leave me alone, man. Nope, not all down. A single I could probably deal with. Uh-oh. Now you're missing the head, buddy. This is how you get ahead in life. Stop me, somebody. Welcome. Now, right, what do you got? Splints, not bad. In fact, I think I'll take the splints. Inventory. Wow, there's a whole bunch of guys out there. And crossbow bolts. Shit. Try to get that closed before he got up.
I need to get my health back up. Speak. They actually will eventually go away. Can I get some food, buddy? Because I'm way hungry and, uh... Of course I can't. Okay, how about if I buy up the water? Uh, I think I can get two more of these. There's two of these guys out here, I think. Okay. And let's go ahead... Uh, nope, not that. Let's go ahead and make sure I'm reloaded. Oh, shoot. Can I, can I get by you guys? Thank you. Oh, I'm tired too. Man... Ah, <sighs> sprain, break. Super hungry. Not the, the state you should be in. Infected. <laughs> I got beat up a little bit. Get home. All right, sneak. All right, let's take, let's take a look here. I need a, I need you. Oh, I don't. Both of those are sprains. Got an arm and a leg sprain. Still got that going on. Can I get my... Yep, there we go. Get some food off of that as well. That was my honey. The honey has a 70% chance to fix the, the infection. I got a scrape on my arm. Oh, that's a deep laceration, so I'm going to need to use a bigger thing here. So I'll use the first aid kit. There we go. And now I have pretty much everything except for my fatigue taken care of. Tired yet again. Let's grab all of this. Double click in here to get the one piece put away. Got a couple of tools I could drop off. Even though I've got that stuff in there. Did I sell the press boy hat? I thought I did. Yes, I didn't. Sort. And then let's go ahead and drink some uh, canned water. A couple of those. And let's see if I can make some food. Food. Damn it. All right. Well, let's uh, open. Can I open you? Recipes. Yeah, there we go. Get some raw fish out of you. Get some raw fish out of you. Can I cook this raw fish by chance? No. Why would I be able to? But I can eat it, and you can see no food poisoning. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get some food in me. Actually, I might not doing that because I don't have any wood in there. That might be the case. It won't show you a recipe unless... Yeah, I cooked pasta. Pick that up. Unless you can actually do it. Those cooking. Can't really quite see how much time I have left on that. I also have some time left here. Get that one going. Eat one more of my things here. I think it's some, some water going. I need food. I need food badly. Dwarf needs food badly. Alright. Be nice when that pops through. Oh boy, is it time for me to start looking at... Can I do farm plots yet? No, I don't have them unlocked because I'm not a farmer. So that means I'd have to till the ground and plant stuff and then harvest weekly. And I don't mean once a week, I mean badly. Uh, putting away things I know that I won't be using. Could he eat pears if I'm really desperate? That's sham? Yeah, that's canned sham. Alright, I don't think I'm actually eating anything else here. Is 
Stop opening and closing the damn thing, buddy. I'm going to drink that nice tea. Goldenrod tea. Thank you very much. All right. I'm full up there. Turn this thing off. I've got my anvil that I can put up here. Done with the anvil. Try and look at the fire, please. Thank you. Give me just the extra water. All right. Next. Can I do a writing desk yet? Can. Grab some nails. And writing desk. Grab that. What about tailoring? Don't have that unlocked yet. I also don't have the metal workstation unlocked yet. Okay. I'm done with all that. It sounds like that whacking is not too nearby. If it was nearby, I'd have to come down and deal with it. But I will put this here. There we go. Nice. Uh, with a little bit of cloth and fat and the sticks I have in my inventory. Make some more torches. Let's do that. I need tailoring to make the medium. Do I need it for the medium? Backpack. Yeah, need a print tailoring bunch. Okay. Wow, I just I just want to put things in the wrong place today. Put your nails away. Didn't get the nails off the guy. Oop, there they are. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to finish off a little bit more stuff here. I think I'm going to create some more frames. I'm going to start framing this stuff up a little bit more until daylight, and then we'll come back in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Let there be light. I'm creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind. With the windows I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild Whisper in the name No, I can't be tamed My heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone I'm, a, I'm alone with I'm alone Lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a.